You give this man the ball, give him the rock, and he's gonna hit the target, he's gonna hit the frame, gets the bounces, also has a big body. The more I use him, the more that I believe, and I start to question, what can't he do? It's basically a cheat code when it comes to finishing. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you haven't already, it is free to subscribe. It helps out the progress that we're making here. We're not far off 300K. We can do that together. Hit the LaBelle, turn on some notifications. Today, we're discussing the best finishers in FIFA 21, and it is gonna get up opinionated because this is not reading off the foot items. This is going to be my opinion on guys that have really stood out and made a difference in 1v1 scenarios or finesse shots outside of the box variety, giving you the complete package. If you want more of this because it's a brand new iteration into some of the lists that we're putting together, please like the video. That tells me more of this content ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. And should I put out a secondary video discussing maybe players in certain price points that deal with finishing or certain ratings? Because I'll be completely transparent with you. If you have a 95 overall foot item, he's usually gonna finish better than the 83. They're just not gonna be able to make it into the alignment. There's too many options. There's so much depth because I did not recategorize or differentiate or separate anything in this video. It's seriously the best finishers and we're looking at thousands of players. The comments should be interesting because I expect you to disagree. And that's fine. This is my list. We're bold. We're going to keep our opinions. We're going to run it up. But I'm always open to anyone's arguments. We have a certain community that I feel has a level of maturity where we can have discussion. That doesn't just turn into, hit me with your address. I'm pulling up. Also in the comments, best passers, fastest players, strongest players, best body types. What other videos do you feel should fit into this concept, this series? I'm listening. And to reiterate, this is based on my personal experience. The feel of the players, not what it says online. Because sometimes stats are just fraudulent. Or we disagree. Nothing wrong with that. Criteria, short but sweet and it's very important. I'm not talking about icons. Maybe a separate video. I'm not talking about team of the year players because they would take up too large of a portion. We'd have five players with team of the year Ronaldo and, and team of the year Mbappe and Bruno. You get the idea. And it's my personal experience, my list. I already told you that. And as for the definition of finishing, it's not as simple, at least to yours truly, as this guy can convert. We're looking at long shooting, volleys, box work, ease of finishing, and we're only talking about one version of a player. How am I supposed to deal with, for example, a player that moves like a sloth? That still impacts the finishing. I can't put him into the proper scenarios, or his weak foot is trashed here. Can he make up for that? You get the idea. We have 15 names. And it's gonna come in with that fuego. Rainier, placement 101, GT classes. GT stands for gifted and talented. If you're in middle or high school, you may have remembered these classes and it's slightly disrespectful if you really think about that. Hey, you go to the normal class, we got our GT classes over here for our gifted and talented children. What kind of pretentious stuff is that? We could do better with the name, clearly. That's almost like saying, here's our upper echelon of students. These are the people that have more potential. We're more invested over here. We gotta work out our education system. Sonaldo, and I'm talking the, the purple, the blue, the player of the month iteration. He made an early appearance. I'm still waiting for the next piece or grouping of upgrades for Sonaldo, but with that five-star weak foot and what he can do with tight windows, tight angles, it's impressive. He's a dead Deadly finisher, reliable, good old trusty. You see Sonaldo, you know what you can expect on the back end. Bernardo Silva, foot freeze iteration. And you might say I have a bias. Well, it is my list and I've played maybe 250 games with this foot item in particular and he's patient, very well weighted within the box. A little step here, a little step there. Crafty might be the proper descriptive word if we're looking at Bernardo Silva. Also handy with getting around the goalkeeper. That seems as if that's a suspect way to describe what makes him kind of unique. But you open up angles and then you can maximize the angles that you've actually created. What you've been able to formulate on the virtual pitch, taking advantage. Remember, this list is not based on how fast or necessarily how good the player is as an individual, how meta the player is as that same individual, but really focused and dialed in on finishing. I repeat, finishing. Robin, the best one foot in FIFA. 
But at the same time, not talking about watches, I'm not sure I can list Robin higher up on my actual countdown or just put together when I'm talking about finishing because the elephant in the room, he can't use his right foot. I've scored a few goals with his weak foot, but I'm not gonna sit here in front for the camera as if it's a viable option that's full of a bunch of consistency. It's not. But when you're talking about range, no rover, there's no limitation for someone like Robin on that left peg. Cutting inside the five star skills, the traits, the characteristics. This is one of the most enjoyable, the most fun foot items you will use in FIFA 21. I promise you. If I was making that video and I might put it together, Robin would be in my top five. There's some foreshadowing or we're making a statement. But in this video, that limitation, clear limitation, I don't know that he can inch that much farther up. Ben Yedder, Rattastic may not be as popular in FIFA 21. He stayed hyper fanging with Raticate all day in Pokemon, but it's not due to his lack of finishing. That's not the issue. There's other characteristics that come into play as to why we're not witnessing Ben Yetterism every single weekend. And many of you are happy about that. This guy's always been the drag back, god tier attacker, edge of the box, inside the box. He had that natural knack for scoring goals, either foot. And this is purely about finishing. This is like a farmer with his land, a hunter with his prey, a swimmer in the ocean. Maybe I should have said a fish in the ocean. But that's how Ben Yedder is with finding the back of the net. That final third, that's where he belongs. That's where he should be. Suarez, this is the best free finisher easily in the game. I was surprised, astonished, unbelievable in the final third. You give this man the ball, give him the rock, and he's going to hit the target. He's going to hit the frame, gets the bounces. Also has a big body, has the skill move upgrade. This is such an underrated foot item. Where would you rank Suarez overall between free iterations of players up to this point in FIFA 21? I'm listening. Morales, it's not fraudulent, kind of random. Nobody expected this upgrade or really this promo just out of the blue or out of the green or in his specific case, out of the purple. 89 finishing, 95 curve, 93 composure, especial. That's authentic. Mbappe, I've gone with the record breaker, but I'm not upset if you go with the standard Mbappe. If you're going to look at an inform somewhere, you're going to the left wing, you want to talk team of the year. At the end of the day, this man is a superstar. He's made for FIFA 21. You get so many opportunities to score and he converts. We've all conceded hundreds of goals and scored hundreds of goals with some version or variation of Mbappe and it just would not be right if he was not included on this list. It's just Mbappe being Mbappe. Another day in the office. Rashford. Another anomaly, at least to start out the year. That 85 overall, maybe the most overpowered foot item we had. It was Rashford and Mendy were the guys that were in that debatable saying, what's going on? Varane joined them a little bit late to the party, fashionably late. But Rashford in form, doesn't need seasoning with the cooking. Chef Rashford has the essentials. Locked in, jail time, wears a seatbelt. My mind connects in ways that I'm not sure you're following. That all made sense to me. And even his weak foot, I would say it resembles a five star, which gives you a little more of that bonus. And I score volleys, I score flicks, I score tricks, I score skill moves. It does not matter the patch. Rashford is classic or he's vintage, he's timeless. He will be amazing throughout every portion of FIFA 21. I'm not sure that we're gonna see a better variation of Rashford though going forward in any additional FIFA installments. It could happen, but this year he's been so dominant and he's been included in so many different squads that I don't know if we're gonna see this type of demand in the future. Can he live up to this hype, this expectation? Messi, some of you may argue that he needs to go up a few spots. I can also see in the comments, if you moved him down, there's gonna be some maneuverability, some shifting. That's because we have different opinions. Messi's finesse shot and just his mechanical movements and quick turning, really second to none. It's just a matter if you like everything else. Some people still believe that Messi has real issues on his right foot that he still feels one foot dominant. And I don't know if I'm on board with that. Obviously a much better weak foot in comparison to the likes of someone such as Robin, who also shares in that lack of defined distance, especially on that left pegaroo. But with Messi, you definitely get a better complete package of using both feet. There's no doubt. But his four star weak foot, 
is not the same as Rashford's four-star weak flip. I will make that statement on record. Neymar, I don't mind if you go 92, you go 91. Wildly consistent with finishing. Has the coveted five-star, five-star. I actually feel that he's a little more responsive with some of the shooting within the box. So these just quick turns and quick movements that allow for you to open up angles. And then having an equal foot scenario. You're wearing the same size, both feet. That's how most people would be, should be could be but this Brazilian gives you the inability and the absolute function of creativity innovation progressive play and lack of limitation if you are looking for tight windows small angles you need to open the door close the door slide through a tight space wiggle work and I know this is not a review based on all the other characteristics but some of it still plays a factor with finishing you've got to get to the right spots to have that classic Neymar angle the finesse shot where you open up your body and very few players can score outside of the box finesse shots with both feet consistently this is one of them Jao Felix that's right an 87 overall player of the month edition he's this good if I started him right now 30 games it's gonna be my top goal scorer probably my top contributor I'd argue the most assist he's just brilliant one of the best SBCs I've done in FIFA 21 I'm not sure where to start his confidence his resilience clutch factor composure the types of different angles and finishing scenarios that you can convert from the amount of late game goals he doesn't waver based on the opposition whether I'm playing a silver or gold an elite player Jao Felix is there he's ready to compete he has the five star skills which gives you easier angles to create or quick turns scoop turns in particular a little bit of that ice cream in your life we haven't quite got that season we need a little more of a progression we're getting closer to summer maybe i'm getting ahead of myself but jao felix is silky he has to be there for years truly el shirari that's don't say he should be this high, but the more I use him, the more that I believe and I start to question, what can't he do? Weak foot is phenomenal. No angle, no problem. He took the hair gel out and applied it to the FIFA finishing. He's blow drying defenders. I'm gonna leave that here. I can't see this building in an upward trajectory, but El Shirari deserves undoubtedly this position for years truly. Cristiano Ronaldo basically a cheat code when it comes to finishing partly because he creates and scores so many ugly goals how many times have you conceded to a 360 finesse shot or a no scope from ronaldo he's the sniper he's the shotgun he has the complete build out he's so annoying to go up against he scores in the air if you wanted to, to convert a header if you need a volley it doesn't matter if it's his weak foot it's a strong foot he also scores goals that many players just can't replicate it's that simple i would obviously recommend the highest rated version of cristiano that you can afford but even the 92 overall his baseline the standard gold still gonna get busy he would make it onto this list if the inform wasn't an option drum roll please wayne freaking roney that is correct. I have him at number one. I have never struggled defending a player so much in my life. This record breaker, Wayne Rooney, every single game that I go up against him, scores goals that I did not realize were possible. He is the ultimate mechanic. Blows by the opposition. And in this case, or this example, that's most of the time me. I dislike going up against him. He's easier to get the green links than ever before, especially with the championship foot items that have been introduced. Obviously, he's English. I don't think there's a better finisher, at least not with the current requirements where we have no team of the year players that we're discussing and no icons. Wayne Rooney will finish everything. It does not matter where or what type of shot will finish everything. Maybe he's more of a garbage collector. He's cleaning up the mess. He'll take everything you got and turn it into something better. Surely that should be recycling. He's a recycling mastermind. I'm very interested where you have Wayne Rooney ranked. I think everyone has to salute the career that he's provided us on the actual pitch. And this foot item is broken. I don't use that word lightly. I don't use that word often. Unfreaking believable. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop some love on the video. Should I put out another finishing video that discusses maybe some sort of sectioned off group of players that can finish, whether that's based on rating or league or price points. I could get into leagues. That might be interesting. Best finishers in the Premier League. Best finishers in the Bundesliga. Serie A. La Liga. You get the idea. We could touch on that. If you want it, let me know. I want to make sure that I'm still connecting, as always, with the community, by the community. And I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.